Welcome back guys. In this video, we're going to do a word problem. So we're told a concert sells 100 tickets at $6 each. The management found that for every $1 increase in price, 10 less people will go. And then we have to answer these three questions here. What ticket price maximizes revenue? What is the max revenue? And number three, how many people will attend when revenue is maximized? Okay, so in general, we're talking about revenue here. And revenue is always what? The price for an item times the number of items. So currently we're told that the price of each ticket is $6 and there are 100 tickets being sold. So we know the current revenue right now is $600 for this concert. But they're wondering, can they increase that revenue? Well, they're told that for every $1 increase in price, 10 less people will go. So what we can do is we can introduce a variable x and we can let it equal the number of $1 increases in price. So notice we can now make a new revenue function. So the price bracket is going to be $6, the current price, plus 1 times x. 1 times the number of increases. We're going to be increasing the price by $1. And the number of items bracket is going to be 100 minus uh, 10 less people will go. So 10x. So for every $1 increase in price, 10 less people will go. So if X is 2, if we're going to increase the price twice, so by $2, then X is going to be 2 here. It means 20 less people are going to go. So right now, we have a uh, revenue function here. And now we can find out what's the maximum revenue. So there's multiple ways to do this. You can uh, expand everything, complete the square. We're actually going to do it both ways. But notice that this is already factored for you. So we have x here, and then we have the revenue on this axis. Notice that we can find out what the intercepts are pretty easily. We could just let each bracket equal 0. So 6 plus 1x is equal to 0. That's going to happen at an x value of negative 6, which is over here. And then uh, 100 minus 10x equals 0. That's going to happen at an x value of 10 when we isolate for it. So that would be over here. And this is a parabola that's going to be opening down because if we expand all this, the leading coefficient is going to be negative 10x squared. So what we can do is uh, we know this parabola is going to look something like this. We could figure out what this vertex is here, that max value, because we have the intercepts and we have the equation. So to find the x value of the vertex, we would just add the two intercepts and divide it by 2. So 10 plus negative 6 is 4. 4 divided by 2 gives us 2. And that makes sense because from negative 6 to 2 is a distance of 8. From 2 to 10, that's a distance of 8 as well. And then we can just plug in 2 into the revenue function for x to get that maximum revenue. So when we do that, we would end up having uh, 8 in this bracket. And then over here, we would end up having um, 80 in that bracket. And um, 80 times 8 gives us 640. So we know that this vertex here has a coordinate 2 and 6, 40. Right? So we have the vertex of this uh, revenue function here. 
And notice x can't be negative, so we would just ignore this part of the parabola. But we did need it in order to get that negative x-intercept and then be able to find the midpoint, which was 2. So that is one way to do it. And once you have this, you can answer everything here once you have that vertex. We know what the maximum revenue is, the x value at which the maximum revenue happens. So we could find the ticket price, number of people attending. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Uh, what is another way? Another way is you can expand everything and then complete the square. And we should get the same answer. So if we take this revenue function and expand it, so 6 times 100, 6 times negative 10x, that'd be 600, minus 60x, this is plus 100x, and this is minus 10x squared. Collecting all the like terms, this goes in front, this here gives us positive 40x, and then this plus 600 would go in front like that. So now we have the standard form for the revenue function. So we can just complete the square on it. So we took the factored form, expanded it to get the standard form. If we complete the square on this, this would be x squared minus 4x, right? 40x divided by negative 10 is negative 4x. Um, negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Squared is positive 4, so we got plus 4 minus 4. And then the plus 600 we will keep outside of the bracket. So this here would be x squared minus 4x plus 4. And then we bring the negative 4 out. So negative 4 times negative 10 gives us positive 40. This is plus 600. So this would be, uh, this factors into x minus 2 squared. And this would be positive 640. So that's the revenue function in vertex form. So notice the vertex of this, 2 and 640, which is exactly what we got before when we just found the intercepts. So either way works. Uh, you could take the factored form right away, find the intercepts, find the midpoint between them, sub in that midpoint into the function to get the vertex. Or you could expand everything, complete the square and get the vertex. Or you could do both methods if you get this on a test just to make sure that you're getting the correct answer. So just to redraw the graph for this, I'm going to erase these steps here. So we got the x, which is the number of price increases. Then we got the revenue. Maximum revenue is happening at 2 and 640. So this is 2 and 640. What's the revenue here? It's 600, right? If x is 0, then that means that uh, that's just the initial revenue that the concert had, the $6 times 100 tickets. So this y-intercept is 600. But notice we can get a better revenue of 640 if we increase the price two times, even though 20 less people will attend, overall the revenue will be higher. So we can answer all the questions now once we have this vertex. What ticket price maximizes revenue? Now here you got to be careful. This x of 2 represents the number of $1 increases in price. And this whole bracket is the price bracket. So you got to sub in 2 for x here. So 6 plus 1 times 2 gives us $8. That's the ticket price that maximizes revenue. What is the maximum revenue? Well, that is this here, 640. And then how many people will attend when revenue is maximized? That's this bracket here. This bracket represents the number of people. So we would plug in 2 for this x value, 100 minus 10 times 2 gives us 80. So 80 people will attend. So you got to be careful with what they are asking you. Okay? If they're asking you for the maximum revenue, that's just the y value of the vertex. But if they're asking you for the price or the number of people when revenue is maximized, it's not this x value of 2. Remember, this x value 2 represents the number of increases in prices. You got to take this x value 2 and plug it into either bracket.